this is Miss D at these special things. I hope everyone is having a happy Easter and um, yes, a great day. So happy Easter, everyone. Yes, I wanted to share with you a project I worked on this weekend. I wanted to make another um, berry friendship umbrella garden. So here is a fairy garden using the friendship umbrella. Yes, and here we go right here. This is I, I actually had this all packaged up. I had to unpackage it. I don't know if you could see it that well. If I can, <laughs> I am going to, and I laugh because I'm actually, I got a MacBook Pro. Yeah. And, um... Yeah, I am actually, for the last two weeks, I have been playing with this thing, trying to make it work for me. Um, a bad thing to do is to actually change stuff in the middle of you having something to do. <laughs> and right now, I'm not having such a good time because I have to learn this Mac. Um, yeah, and I'm so used to the, my PC. But anyway, yes, I actually made this umbrella for one of my subbies and one of my now YouTube buddies. Yes, so I wanted to send her um, this because, matter of fact, I'm not going to say who it is, but she'll know who it is. And you'll have to see who it is when they receive it because if I say, they'll know who it's going to. But anyway, I just wanted to share this. Um, I am actually sending it out tomorrow. I had to unpackage it. Yes, because I had it waiting to go. And I realized I had not did a video or taken any pictures of it. So here we go. Um, I actually used a 6x12, two 6x12 sheets of paper to make this. So it's... Um, not as large as the friendship umbrellas and I use the tea lights to Stand mine up because I like mine to stand without a problem. I like them to stand um, Especially if you're putting stuff in them and so far I have The tea lights that I got from Ikea and I also have some tea lights. I found um, the Dollar Tree have them. They come two in a pack um yes yeah, so you get two for a dollar but they're round yeah but I got some of those um, and I've been using these on my uh, friendship umbrellas and that's because they're sturdy and they stand the only thing about it is glass so I have to use doilies in between the umbrella and the glass so that it would have something to adhere to and it won't fall apart yes yeah, so um, especially in shipping in shipping and I'll have to send that a certain way but it doesn't weigh much it um, I mean if you're sending something like this you have to pack, package it accordingly anyway but this I made using um, polyfill and I just covered it with felt and covered it with lace and stuck it inside I used for the grass as you can see um, I use reindeer moss and I got it from AC Moore. I'm going to have to go pick up more and I said that the last time I haven't picked up any. This can also be a pin cushion as you see right there. I actually have some pins that I made. Either I made them or I got them from friends. Yeah. Um, yeah and I just kind of decorated it pretty much the same way as I did the other one. Well, almost none of them are alike, right? You can't do the same thing twice, right? Yeah, but this is my Fairy Garden Friendship Umbrella. And I'm going to send this out to um, one of my subbies. And I hope she likes it. Um, yeah, I also have a another no it was a giveaway someone didn't claim their giveaway so i'm going to send it to one of my ic challenge uh card holders yeah i'm going to send it to one of them because 
um, only one person claimed it and I don't have addresses or a way that I could contact people if you don't give me your email address or whatever this was a hidden giveaway or supposedly a hidden giveaway so I I didn't have any way to contact the person that I chose so yeah I'll be sending that out and I'll do a video or and or the person that I send it to you have to wait for their video but anyway this is a just a random I just decided to send someone something because I think they're a sweet person and that's all I can say about it because if I say any more they'll know who it is so once you get this uh, let me know that you have it and I hope you like it and yes oh I also have let's see I don't know who these are by but they're little uh, scriptures on here yes yeah, so I did put that on there. I just like this. I think it's so pretty. Yeah, but I just, matter of fact, I did this this weekend because I had uh, a change in my plans. So I was here this weekend and I decided to do something nice. <laughs> All right, everyone. Here is my, what is it? My Fairy Garden Friendship Umbrella. So I hope y'all like it. I hope she likes it. And I'll know when she gets, when she receives this. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. I hope you all are having a great day. And um, I hope you're crafting. If you are, let me know what you're doing. I am actually still organizing my room. I'm always organizing. But I am so there right now. Um. To the point where I really enjoy being in here. I have everything pretty much organized the way I want it. And now I'm just putting up stuff. And taking it out. And putting stuff back. And yeah. But anyway. Oh the, the fairies. I get mine from AC Moore. Yeah if you're wondering. So you don't have to ask that question. Yeah I get the fairies from AC Moore. And um yeah they come in about three or four different sizes so i just collected a bunch of them last year i started and i actually got some kind of larger ones like this uh because my granddaughter wanted me to make her a fairy um a captured fairy using this right here and i never did finish it i started it so i just I'm glad I came across this little friendship umbrella because it works out perfectly. Um, the first person I saw actually used this as a basket, which it looks like it. She did hers the same way. was Grammy Extreme, so I just took her idea and made it a garden instead because I wanted to make a garden. So that worked out perfectly. All right, you guys, there you are. Thanks for watching. Hope you all have a happy Sunday. And uh, talk to you later. Bye.